by the bar and he would like to show you and demonstrate you how is from one faucet, one from one tap, from one keg possible to create three type of beer and each beer has a different taste. First, uh, will be smooth. This is a very common uh, style of pouring which is used in Czech Republic. And this is beer where we started this little bit foam, then uh, we poured the beer below the foam. And it's very simple drinkable because we release a little bit carbon dioxide out from the beer. And uh, this carbon dioxide releasing in your body is not so big volume. Please, Brian, show us how we do it. And by the way, Brian is master bartender of, of the year in USA. You can see, here on the upper level there is creamy head and uh, in, in lower level there, there is pure beer and if you try it, uh, you can try uh, this excellent taste of malt, sad hops combined with a little crispness of, of the beer. Try it. Or I will try it in instead of you. <laughs> style where we pour uh, pure beer to, to the glass and on the end we, we create a nice creamy head and this is beer for long term drinking for a whole dinner or for a whole lunch. Please Brian try to show it to us. You can see clean and cold glass, hold angle by 44, 45. Now he create a nice creamy foam on the, on the top. This beer is more crispy, uh, but you can see it's from same barrel, same tap, but tape is, the taste is more crispy. Open only a little bit the tap and to the glass is flowing only pure foam, pure hair, which is creamy. And it really looks like uh, milk. This is the reason why we say in Czech Mliko or in English milk. But this beer uh, should be drink immediately. And taste of this beer is a little bit more sweeter because the beer is distributed between bubbles of CO2 and this is leading to nice, uh, sweeter taste of beer. So if you look, these are like considered micro bubbles. It's so tight and it's so fine. It's very much like a cappuccino foam. It's not like drinking a dry okay. foam that you would get from a regular American faucet. So when you drink this, it gives you a very soothing feeling and it's very creamy and very malty. It's almost caramely. So it's not like drinking a dry foam that you would get off of like a regular American faucet, not those big fish eye bubbles. So. It's almost like thing, nitro bubbles, almost. Yeah, it's literally almost the effect of a nitro faucet. It's really good. So if you and if you home brewers have a nitro faucet, you should put a pilsner on it because it's really nice. All right, guys. So let's just wrap up this pilsner Kel special for the brewed palate. So uh, you just saw saw us and the other guys from Pilsner Kel working to show you the three methods. Um, to pour the beer to exemplify not only beer's hop character but and its small character but also its drinkability from all levels whether you want the creaminess of the head or you want the crispness of the hops and the, bo and the body of the beer um, so I guess what, what would you say like the three most important things that you get out of those different methods are uh, I would say three very important things uh, we do on the on this American market as best way as is possible to support the quality. This is the first important thing. Second is growing number of bars which serve the beer on the proper way. I know that this is never ending way, but we do it because we say uh, it's leading to best quality. 
and sir, of course, these guys welcome to drinking personal local and to achieve proper taste you should come to Czech Republic to Pilsen and we will pour you beer direct from wooden barrels. Nazdraví! Cheers! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching.